A town where the entire population is made up of young, beautiful women is seeking single males. Where is it? Uh, you guys didn't let me finish. It's a town where you have to follow the women's rules. Oh. Yeah. My name's Michael McCrudden, talking to you about a town that should be called Hubba Hubbaville, here for you on IO. Can we fix this? More than 600 women make up the population of Nova do Cordeiro in southeast Brazil. Oh my god, these are Brazilian women? This story just gets better and better. And they are renowned in the local area for being extremely attractive. Okay, Dave and Liam, let's get the gear. Let's do this. So why does this town have no men? Is it like a modern day Amazon? The settlement dates back to the 1890s when a young woman and her family were excommunicated from the Catholic Church after she was accused of adultery. Slowly, more single women and mother only families began to move into the community and after seven interferences by males, the women decided to adopt a strict no male policy. So likely right now you're probably confused being like, I feel like I was just invited to this town, but now there's no men allowed, so how am I going to get in on the action? Well, the way it works is if the women give birth to a male, at the age of 18, he needs to leave the city. He has to work elsewhere, and he's allowed visitations on the weekend. The women take care of everything in the town, from farming to building and religious ceremonies. They are doing really well for themselves. The only problem is, when it comes to men, you can't live with them but you can't live without them. So the girls are looking for eligible bachelors who want to live in the nearby area, get into a relationship, and abide by the girl town rule. For some men out there, seeing your girl only on the weekend? Tell me where to sign? Sounds like paradise to me. And when you get there, there's like 100 million of them and they're doing all the work. <gasps> Dave and Liam, let's do it already! Like with anything in life, there's a downside to this story. There is said to be only one television in this town, and that TV is always playing soap operas. So don't plan a visit there during Super Bowl Sunday. My name is Michael McCredden. If you want more information on this story, be sure to check out the links down below. And ladies and gentlemen, let me know if this is the town for you, and what would you name it? Let me know in the comments down below.